Wonderland, your complete family fun center. Look, kids, Mississippi River. Ah, that's the Mississippi, the mighty Mississippi. <laughs> the old miss, the old, the old man. man. Deep river, my home is over Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> There's the gateway arch over there. <laughs> Mississippi River. All right, so we're in St. Louis and we're gonna go to the city museum. It's really all we have time for today. So at least we got to do something in Missouri. But yeah, pretty excited for this. It looks pretty awesome. Not really sure like totally what to expect. I haven't seen like a ton of stuff about it. I know there's like a lot of stuff to climb on and slides and all kinds of interactive stuff, but yeah. Not sure what all is in here, honestly. Okay, here's the main entrance area. It's pretty crazy. General admission. All right, we're in. It's packed, just like every other like big thing we've done in the past few days, but I think this place is usually packed. It's like a place where families like to come and take their kids because there's so much stuff for kids to do here. There's a big whale. That's like uh, House on the Rock vibes there. All right, here's the cave. We're gonna walk through the caves. I guess you just pick away. There's no like, particular way to go. Uh, there's a lot of people that way. I guess we'll just go this way. Why do they have to have licensed music playing in the caves? <laughs> right? I so said, why do they have to have licensed music playing in the caves? I think they're gonna have licensed music everywhere here. Oh, that's a dead end. I'm just gonna have to try to keep talking so that I don't get a copyright strike. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to go. <laughs> Guess I'll just walk around. There's the whale, the tail of the whale. There's fish down here. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's pretty neat. You gotta climb through that. We're not gonna be doing any climbing, so. <laughs> there might be parts that we're gonna miss, but my, I got like a bruise on my knee and like, I'm not really up for climbing through stuff. <laughs> my God, that music's loud. Jeez. You think they would have like ambient music or something? There's a big iguana. Yeah, I don't think the licensed music matches the vibe, so it's a shame they have to be playing that. Be easier 
Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of climbing and stuff, so. <laughs> There's some kind of like aquatic theme section. Some aquariums of fish. Oh, nice little octopus. Stingray. Pretty cool stingray. They've got a t touching tank. Is there stingrays in there? What's in there? Is it just fish? Oh. Millions. Some chameleons in here. Where are they? Oh, I see them. Oh, he's in the middle. That's like a bearded dragon, though. Where's the chameleon at? How do you get to the sharks? Maybe the shark exhibits closed off. Cause that's normally how you would get to it. Maybe not, I don't know. It said sharks. There was a sign that said sharks. Maybe you have to go down there, I don't know. Or up there. Oh, this is like where the skate park is. Is that John C. Riley? <laughs> What's this stuff? What's all this random stuff? Is it shipwreck stuff? Shipwreck items, I guess, I don't know. You got all these playgrounds everywhere. I guess this is the pinball.
Yeah, it's not that many machines. And they're all old machines, so save some money there, right? <laughs> Wouldn't really care to do that, honestly. Oh, that looks like there's some cool stuff in here. Everything's just so random, like you just come up on like <laughs> completely different themes and stuff. I guess like they do some kind of a like, show or something here. I don't know. The auditorium. have some kind of like ride but it looks like it's probably for kids but look at the cool like black light stuff back there but it has to be for kids because look at the tunnel like there's no way you, it'd be like a full train or whatever right museum of mirth mystery and mayhem is that what that is in there that we just came through i guess Here's like some old shooting gallery. This place is just so random, like it's just non-cohesive and just like a bunch of random stuff in different rooms as you walk around and there's like no signs telling you where to go or anything. You just like walk around. <laughs> it's really bizarre, right? What's in there? I don't know. That's like empty in there. There's nothing in there. We got a Bob's Big Boy over here. What's this over here? I think this was like a train ride or something at some point. I don't. It doesn't look like it's running though. It looked cool, it went through like a black light thing. Here's a gift shop. Yeah, there's like a whole uh, miniature village. This is a centipede being eaten by a dragon. You see that? It's a centipede being eaten by a, by like a dragon or a lizard or something. <laughs> what circus? Oh, city circus, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's closed, it looks like. The shark thing was closed, this is closed. There was like a whole empty area over there that was closed. Oh, that's because they do shows at 12 and 2. We missed it. So they probably close it off after 2 o'clock after the show. Okay, we walked. Did we walk through there? Yeah, that's the thing we walked through. Okay, so then we saw all the stuff on this side, I guess. Yeah, this train ride looks cool. Like, it goes through 
like a whole like uh, planetary block light thing. And We didn't go through here, yeah. This is like that, more of that skate park thing. I don't really get it. It's like skateless skate park. Like, I don't understand what that means. <laughs> All these pencils. <laughs> Nothing makes any sense. We came out this way, and then we walked that way. We came up through there. So I think I figured out what this museum is. It's supposed to be like a representation of a city like everything in it is like probably related to St. Louis, right? Like you got like the aquarium thing, you got the skate park, right? Well, it's like the aquarium. There's probably an aquarium in St. Louis, right? So each section is like a different part of St. Louis. That's why it's called City Museum, right? It's starting to make a little bit more sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? A peewee? <laughs> See, and then you got like Edward Bates School. This must be some kind of uh, school in St. Louis. Where'd you go? This part's pretty much just like empty. I don't know. I don't know what this is about. How do you get to the outside part, I guess? Down a floor and then out? Oh. Uh, I thought we were already on the top floor. of Egyptian stuff here. I don't know. I guess we'll do all this stuff. What the hell? This is so bizarre. There's like all these rooms that are just like kind of empty, but like I guess they're supposed to be like uh Museums that were in St. Louis or still in St. Louis. I'm not sure <laughs> A lot of stuff is closed off like what is that? Well, I guess you can go in there Oh, this is the this is where you get to the ten-story slide in here. Oh wow! What? Look at this in here. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that first. 
Dude, this place is like, I don't know, like scary in a way, right? <laughs> it's like, I don't know. What's that? This is your favorite part? Oh. Uh, yeah. uh. Alright, here's part of the outside section. You have to climb through all this stuff, so I think we're gonna skip it because... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, I just don't really like climbing through stuff, personally. <laughs> and plus my knee is like bruised, so... Yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, yeah, I would say if you don't feel like climbing through stuff, maybe like it's not worth coming here, but like <laughs> I wanted to come here and just see what all they have. There's actually like so many more stories. <laughs> like look, there's like four, five more stories. I guess not, I don't know. I remember seeing like a room in pictures where it's like a ton of like vintage like 50s like neon signs and stuff like that. I haven't seen that yet. Uh yeah, I don't know. Um I'm a little underwhelmed personally. Like it's it's I think like it's like geared towards um schools and kids. Yeah, I mean like the activities are for kids, like the art. Yeah. There's not as much like um, non-climbing stuff as I kind of expected there to be. I thought, I've seen like videos and pictures that led me to believe that, uh, yeah. It's just the vast majority of it is just like stuff that you climb through. I mean, I don't know what, I don't know exactly what I expected, but uh, I don't know. That's a pretty cool shoe. Yeah, yeah the there's there's got to be space stuff or something if they have that. Okay, we didn't walk this way earlier. We went over that way. So. We saw this from up there. Some pretty crazy looking fish. Hands out, fish bite. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to touch that thing anyway. <laughs> yeah. Architecturally and like stylistically, a lot of it is cool, but like it's just like incohesive and uh, incoherent. Oh, uh, here, this is where. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's some cool stuff in the cave. But yeah, once again, like stuff you gotta climb. <laughs> you just gotta climb through everything. Like, no, I don't. I don't think that even really goes anywhere, does it? Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, some of this stuff is literally like only a kid would fit through. 
I wouldn't recommend this place for adults. <laughs> But we've had, we've had a bunch of adults like tell us we had to come here. Like, you have to come to City Museum, right? <laughs> well, this is kind of cool. There's a naked woman for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew there was more to the caves than what we saw. Here's a whole bunch of different rooms and stuff. Oh yeah, this, this connects to the big room with the slides. So yeah, like everything kind of connects in a way. This room's pretty cool. Like I said, there is cool. It is cool, like architecturally. There's just no like exhibits or like anything resembling like a museum. <laughs> Okay, the caves part is the coolest part, for sure. I don't think it goes the whole way up from here. I think it just goes across the rest of the cave. You're just going back to where we were. That goes... Okay. All right, well, is that it? <laughs> All right, so we just came out of the city museum. Uh, I don't think that's for us, right? <laughs> it's for families. Let's face it <laughs> it's for kids and I mean I understand that and I knew that going in however I had a lot of people tell us you know you're doing a Midwest trip you got to go to City Museum and so we did it because like there's really not a lot to do in St. Louis from what I've seen and I was like okay we got to do Missouri because that's a big Midwest state so we have to do something in Missouri. So we figured, okay, we'll come to St. Louis for a couple hours and we'll do what everybody says you gotta do in St. Louis. And yeah, 
it's I have like really mixed feelings. Like I don't even know how I feel about it. Like I think it's cool in a sense, like it's cool architecturally, it's cool like artistically and stylistically, but like it would be so much cooler if it just had a little bit of uh, cohesion and like more things to like focus on. It's just like, it feels like you're like some kind of like kid with ADHD, like just like roaming around with no sense of direction or anything. And that's like the biggest, my biggest gripe with it is that it's just like too damn random. Like <laughs> a lot of the activities are for kids, like the little art studios. All right, but let's put, let's put all the like, it's for kids thing aside. Um, it has so much potential and that's the problem is that like it's cool in a way like like I said like stylistically and like the concept of it is really cool like they're trying to be like all right we're the city museum we're the museum of St. Louis but there's nothing to tell you anything about what you're looking at or what it's inspired by or really anything of that nature it's just like it and it looks so cool in pictures you like look at pictures and videos and you see like all these massive rooms with slides and you know different passageways and stuff and it looks so cool but then you get in there and it feels like you're in like a rainforest cafe or like a tacky family entertainment center or something you know what i mean i didn't think it was tacky not tacky but like I don't know how to explain it like um when you're in there it doesn't feel as like um stylistically relevant as it looks in pictures is what i'm trying to say like you get what i'm saying yeah and the one section that i saw pictures of that i was really excited for was so small it was such a small part of it like the um the mystic room or whatever you know it just felt like a restaurant like it was a restaurant. There was tables everywhere. There was people sitting at tables and there was nothing to really look at except for some stuff on the walls. And that was what I was like, you know, thinking, oh, I saw pictures of that. The people took, they just took close-ups of the stuff on the walls. And I was like, wow, that looks so cool. And we get there and it's, it's our damn restaurant. Like, <laughs> it's just a, it's just a tiny restaurant inside. So overall I just feel a little well I feel underwhelmed and uh, it's probably it's, it's, it's me it's not the museum it's me because like I'm not in the mood to climb on stuff and I knew going into it that that's what it was <laughs> and like I don't know like I, I have to be in a certain kind of mood to want to like really like put all kinds of physical energy into something and just like yeah, like, I'm not gonna do that stuff unless it was more themed to something I think is fun, like a meow wolf or like what? a certain theme. And the stuff wasn't like comfortable to climb through, it was like yeah. thick metal. And if the paths that you climb through and stuff led to something cool, then yeah, I would put the effort into it. But I don't think I didn't get that sense. I felt like it was, it just, was a, just a lot of like metal tunnels, just a bunch of random tunnels and stuff like there's it doesn't lead into an exhibit or lead into a cool room i mean maybe the caves do i would say the caves are the thing that like fulfilled somewhat of my expectation of what it would be like because in the caves you're what you're you're taking different pathways and you're going into you know different rooms that have cool things and lighting and everything in it and i was kind of expecting that for the entire place and i was thinking oh it would be like meow wolf like you're saying like it would be like, you know, you find a secret passageway and it leads to some kind of cool thing to look at or whatever. But everything's just, it's just a big mess of just <laughs> passageways and stuff. Which, like, I think kids would love that. Kids love that kind of stuff. They just love to climb on stuff. Yeah, well, that's actually perfect for kids. It's a great... you want them to get out their energy and it's really fun looking for them. It's a great thing for kids. I just... As an adult, I would not recommend would recommend it because unless you're like an adult that loves to climb and go down slides because I would say that's 95% of the entire thing is just climbing and going down slides, which is like, okay, if 
you want some kind of like massive Chuck E. Cheese play place or uh, McDonald's play place or whatever, then yeah, it's gonna be everything you wanted. But uh, if you're expecting a museum, it's not a museum. It's very misleading the way they call it a museum. And it's misleading the way... It's more like Whitaker Center. No, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even compare it to that. I wouldn't even say, like, um, that's what I was kind of hoping it would be. I was hoping it would be, you know, um, exhibits and things to see. There's really nothing to see in there. It's just... There was only, like, one room full of pieces of architecture from old St. Louis buildings, which is cool. But very niche and, like... But all the things that would have been... There actually was a art museum part of it, but it was closed off. Like, I yeah. wanted to see it, so... <laughs> a lot of this stuff was closed off. Like, the stuff that would have been stuff that we were interested in was closed off, so... It feels like we just wasted our time and money. We were only there for about an hour, so, I mean... Yeah. just It's just not for us. I mean... I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would like just totally love it and I know they do because we we got this place recommended to us by a lot of people and I don't want to um, offend the people that uh, told us to come here or anything it's just not our cup of tea and that's just all there is to it like some people would love it and some people would not like it like us because we like to just look at cool things we don't like to climb and <laughs> pretend we're like some kind of like kid with ADHD <laughs> not to offend people with ADHD I'm just saying yeah, uh, hard. <laughs> no what I mean by that is like there's no maps there's no signs you don't know where you're going like it just changes from one thing to another everything connects so like you can't even stay in one area for very long because it's gonna bring you out to some place you already been and it's just like in too incohesive like I it's it's disappointing because it's like such a great concept such so much effort and time and money and all that is put into this and it's, concept. it's that's the thing it's an excellent concept like this is like meow wolf but you know ten times bigger but like just not the not the substance of a meow wolf or something so yeah um, I would not come back here <laughs> unless I had kids with me. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really say. I, as an adult, like it's just not something that interests me or probably most adults. So, if you have kids, it's a good place to go. <laughs> and you said when we came in, you said this is for kids, and I said, I can tell. and I said, yeah, but it's for adults too. And <laughs> I was wrong. You were right, and I will admit that. <laughs> wow. It's not really for adults. You heard it here. <laughs>